Hey you guys, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. I think today is my first real video here in our new apartment, which is absolutely nuts. The lighting is so much better and so much different. It's more clear and every I'm just so excited to be here. I feel like my content is going to be way better. But today we are here together because we are going to be talking about everything that I bought for our trip in two weeks to Bali and Singapore for our elopement. I broke down everything in little categories to talk about today so that it's a little bit more digestible. But these things over the past few months I've accumulated and got specifically for this trip and I kind of spread it out so I wasn't buying everything at once. So you may have seen like a few items here and there in my vlogs but today is just a compilation of every single thing that I bought that I'm going to be packing away this weekend for our trip so I'm so excited to show you guys. So if you need any travel inspiration or anything like that, this is the video for you and I hope that this helps with anything that you guys might need to pack. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> so first we are going to start with random and like techie type stuff. So the first thing I have is this little tripod. This I bought on Amazon, I believe it was like $65, but it goes to be about six feet tall, I believe, or pretty close to there. And I bought this because we are eloping to Bali, so I wanted a tripod to kind of set up that sturdy that will help film things for us because it's just us two, so we don't really have anybody else to like capture the moments or anything. And this has really long legs, which I like, so it'll make it extra sturdy and then it goes tall. So it's not going to be a tripod like at the ground looking up at us, if that makes sense. So I'm really excited for this because I've spent a lot of money on tripods and none of them have been great. They have like little legs or they just wobble over in the wind, but this looks really heavy duty and sturdy. And then it's also going to be what we use for um, pictures at like our little happily ever after party in New York. So that way we can kind of set up like a photo booth, which I'm really excited about too. So this has multi-purpose and then hopefully I'll be able to keep using it for my YouTube videos. The next thing I'm actually using to film now, so I can't really show you, but this is the box. This is the mobile phone LED light. I mean, everybody and their mother has heard of this or has it. And this is just a little clip to put either on top of my camera or on top of my phone. And it's basically just to help with lighting because we are going to a different country. And again, we want to capture the moment. So I wanted to make sure that I had something that is like good lighting without me having to set up like another tripod with bulbs or like a huge ring light. Like I just wanted it to be able to clip on stuff, especially because our like vows and like ceremony is supposed to be in the morning in Bali, but we're spending the whole day doing activities together, like meditating, spa, bike ride, like all of that stuff. So I don't know what time we're gonna get back at night. I think our itinerary says 8 p.m. So I really just wanted this light to help like capture some moments, you know? And then next, Tyler actually thought of this one. It is a four pack of just air tags because I didn't think that this would be like allowed to put in your luggage. I don't know why. He bought a four pack so that way you can put it in both of our backpacks and our checked bags because we're taking a pretty big plane over there. But then to get from Singapore to Bali, we're taking a bit of a smaller plane, which is kind of stressful because we're checking big bags and they meet the first requirements and we have to keep checking to make sure that they meet the next plane's requirements since we're flying two different times. But we wanted these so that we could be like, hey, that's where our bag is. Like we won't lose them. We haven't tried them out yet though, so I we need to research on this to make sure that they're ready to go for when we fly. And then next, we already had one of these, but I wanted to get a second one, especially since now we have Apple Watches. I believe when we did all of our Europe travel, we didn't have these yet, so we need basically like double the amount of like outlets. But this is supposed to be like good for any country. It's just basically a plug to help with other countries' outlets so that you can charge your things. It has two USB ports up here and then I don't even know all of these things. And then it comes out and you can make whatever outlets on the other side. So now we have two of these, which should be perfect for charging all of our things and our laptop and our iPad for when we're trying to find things to you know, like do during the day, like on the map and stuff when we want to pull it up. So I'm excited about this because we've only had one this whole time. And then next, I just have my camera strap here because I didn't want to forget that I ordered more batteries for my camera that are supposed to be in, I think, tomorrow, but I'm filming this video today. So I just have this to remind myself. 
Um, I ordered two more. They're pretty expensive, but especially when I'm filming like YouTube videos between certain takes, like I have to take my battery out to charge it. So I wanted to make sure we don't have that issue. And if I forget to charge my battery one day, we'll have backups because right now I'm charging this battery all the time. So I just wanted to have some backups just in case. And then also my cousin's flying out here to take our elopement pictures and we are basically taking pictures all day long. So I wanted to make sure that she has extra batteries too for when we're out in the sun filming that and everything. So that is all for tech type stuff. So now we're going to get into some more random miscellaneous things. The first thing I bought is this fan. <laughs> I bought this because people said that it's hot there, obviously, and it's humid and like rainy. And I got this just in case it gets like really hot. We have like a little, little portable fan that we might bring for our room at night because the amount of hotels that I've stayed in where the AC has broken and it's miserable to sleep in is beyond me. So I think we're gonna pack that too. But I bought this just to keep in our backpack to bring us around during the day. This is a first snack that I bought. Um, there's a few more that I wanna get. I specifically wanna go to Trader Joe's because they have like small bags of snacks and they're a bit healthier instead of bringing like, you know, the usual boring like granola bars and stuff like that. But these are my favorite snack. I freaking love these. It's only 90 calories for 21 pieces. I bought three bags of these. Like I said, I usually get them on Amazon, but I found these at TJ Maxx. So I stocked the heck up because it is so hard for me to find these for some reason. But I want to get some more snacks. This is the first one I bought just for the plane ride. You know, we are on the plane for 17 hours and we leave at midnight. So we are gonna be so messed up. Our body's gonna be all over the place and I just wanna be like set for that, you know? The next thing that we bought for our trip is our signature perfume and cologne. For some reason, it was really important for me for this trip to each pick out and like with each other scents to wear because I wanna remember this trip and we're getting married, you guys, which is so freaking weird, but I wanted to remember. So I have the Prada Paradox and Tyler has the Valentino Born in Roma Yellow Dream. And we are packing these and going to be wearing it that trip and then only wear it for special occasions like date night and stuff like that when we come home. We'll probably repurchase these forever because we spent a lot of time at the store trying scents out to see what each other liked and to make sure we liked it ourselves, you know? But we bought that specifically for our elopement and for our trip, so I'm so excited for that. Next, I got a face sunscreen. I wanted something that would give me protection but also moisture because my skin's been very dry lately. So I got the Kula Classic Face SPF 50 sunscreen lotion. And of course I'm gonna wear a sunscreen screen along my body but I wanted to bring this to like keep reapplying throughout the day because wrinkles skin cancer all of it I want to be set so I got this I believe it was $30 for this if I remember correctly but I'm definitely going to have this like in my carry-on so that I have it with me at all times and then keep it in my backpack after that and then next this one's kind of silly this is a hair a hair finishing cream so it's not really a cream it's just a gel and this is supposed to be for like flyaways and stuff like that um, my hair has gone through it, you guys already know, with all of the breakage and everything. Like, I don't have any hair. So I wanted this to kind of keep the top parts down for our pictures on the beach um, in Bali. So I got this because I didn't want the stick one that sticks, like, flat to your head. I wanted something like this because I don't have a lot of hair. So the stick one would probably just make me look bald. So I got that. Next, I have the Digest Gold Digestive Enzymes. These have been an absolute lifesaver for me. I have the worst digestive issues in the whole entire world, the worst. So if I'm ever like feeling backed up or like I'm not digesting as fast as I should be able to, I start taking these with every meal for like a week like do your own thing, do your own research, this is what I do. And then after my body like starts to catch up again, I start going down to like two times a day, one time a day, and then I'll stop using it for a few weeks. But I mean, I could take it every day, but this bottle was $30 and I don't wanna spend $30 every single month on digestive enzymes. So that's the reason why I don't take it every day. But yeah, I definitely wanna bring this, especially if like we're eating different foods, different water and stuff like that. I wanna be prepared. To go along with that, oh, here it is. 
To go along with that, I got some Senecot Extra Strength. This is natural vegetable laxative ingredient. Um, this is the only laxative that I found that works for me. There's a lot of research about Bali. Like if you get Bali belly or you get sick, don't take laxatives, do take laxatives. So we're obviously going to do our own research. This isn't for if we get Bali belly or anything like that. This is solely just if we get you know we haven't gone in a few days because we're on our honeymoon we're on our wedding like we don't want to feel like crap the whole time so i got this just in case um we will obviously use it how we see fit but that's why i got those next i got a book this is a man's search for meaning i've actually had this for a long time and just just started it so i got this or i'm going to bring this on our trip especially for the airplane 17 hours each way and then I kind of want to get a second book, like maybe like a spicier one, because this I don't think will keep me busy the whole time, especially sitting by the pool or both flights. Like I might even just get sick of reading one book. So I think I'm going to get a second one for, I don't know, just the boredom that might happen, which reminds me, I forgot to grab, but I bought my iPad for this trip. I bought it back in November, actually, because of Black Friday but i bought it specifically for this trip i've just been using it in between because it was a pricier item and i might as well use it but i got it because i want to download movies and stuff for the airplane because i feel like a lot of times they do have tvs they don't the headphones thing doesn't work they don't have things that you want to watch and it's hard for me to like hold my arm up to play the games which is total first world problems but I just want my iPad, it's mine. I can control what goes on it. I can also draw and color and stuff like that on there. So I didn't bring that for this video, but I did get that for this trip and I'm really excited about it. And then last but not least for random things, we got our vow books. This was really important to me. We are going to use the tripod and the light and our vow books all on the same day and just say how we feel about each other, which is so cute. And yeah, this is a moment I want to remember forever, especially for our kids to see one day. I'm so excited, but I got these off of Amazon. And now moving right along to accessories. I bought this bracelet quite a few months ago. Like I said, I was trying to space stuff out so I wasn't spending all of my money at once. And there's somebody definitely watching me out of the window. So that's awesome. So I bought this bracelet from Saks Off Fifth. It kind of reminded me of the Van Cleef bracelets and it's pink with gold. So I feel like it was kind of a mixture with rose gold and maybe it will help me start mixing metals a little bit more. But I thought this was so cute. I think it's by Jean Coup and it was $50, I think. But I liked how they had the three different ways that you can adjust it because I have pretty small wrists. And I got this for our ceremony for on the beach. So I'm so excited to wear this because I bought it so long ago and I haven't worn it yet because I didn't want to like ruin the specialness, but I'm so excited to be able to wear that. And then next I got these earrings from House of Harlow. This one still has its um, plastic packaging on, but these are supposed to be like the little Bottega dupes. They're just gold, like little teardrop earrings. And they're actually pretty light. You would think that they would be a bit heavier. They're also like carved out in the back. So maybe that's why. But I bought these for, I believe, our ceremony. Either way, I got them for our trip. I just have to figure out when I want to wear them because I might preserve them and save them for the, like, the day of or I just might wear them throughout the trip. But I got these specifically for the trip. I went on a hunt for these. I went to like five different stores, but I finally found them. And then next is obviously our wedding rings. I don't have it in here because it's in our safe, but... We will be packing those for sure for this trip. We might wear them on the plane so that they don't get lost, but either way, they are obviously coming with us. Next, I got these sunglasses from Amazon. I just wanted a cheap pair to be able to wear when I'm there. I don't want to bring like my nicer, more expensive sunglasses. So these ones were like 12 bucks. Don't really care about them too much if anything happens to them. I haven't decided if I'm going to bring more than one pair, probably not but this is what I will most likely be bringing. And then next is these shoes also from House of Harlow. I believe I showed these in my video when I found them at TJ Maxx. I, through my research, I read that people in Bali don't really wear heels, so I didn't really wanna like stand out. So I thought that this was like a nice in between, like a nice little clog. I'm worried that these are gonna take up a lot of space in my luggage, but I guess we'll see. I might just swap these out for just like regular flats or whatever, but I did buy these for a trip because I thought that they would be nice to wear and easy to walk around on the beach and the sand and everything like that. So I'm still excited about them. We'll see if they make it in my bag. 
Last accessory is this cute little pink bag from H&M. I believe this was $24. I wanted something that looked like, I just keep calling it like Bali-esque. That's what I keep calling everything. But I bought it because I wanted just something that looked like woven, cute, rattan almost, but like a pop of color because I don't really have very many colorful bags. And I thought this pink one was perfect. It fits my phone, my wallet, my chapstick, and that's all I need. And it has this long strap, obviously, so it's easy to carry. And I thought that it would be really small to pack in my luggage. And I can obviously stuff it with like underwear, bathing suits, stuff like that. So I'm really excited to bring this because I think that it'll be the perfect thing to add to all of my outfits. Okay, last category is just fashion type stuff. I got this Nidor Inspire No Boundary fabric strapless adhesive bra. I was talking about this in my last vlog. I needed another strapless one or sticky one because these are my favorite to wear. This is my first one from this brand, but I'm still excited because I needed to upgrade. My other one was dusty, musty, and crusty. Next, I have this maxi dress and it's from the Fashion Q. And I don't ever, ever, ever wear maxi dresses so this is my first one but i thought this one was so cute because it's like a plunge but then it's kind of like an open back but it's like tasteful because it doesn't like show your whole back just the top of it and i just thought that this was so cute and airy and it was really cheap if i remember it says it was 18 dollars, but i think that they had a sale on top of that and it just honestly felt pretty well made for being a cheaper store and then there's a little slit in it too. So I thought that this would be perfect for dinner at night. We are staying at a resort. So I think that all of our dinners will be right there. So I think that that will be perfect just from the room to dinner. Next, a big must for me was comfy shorts. I got these cute ones from H&M. They're like little cargo shorts. It has like a fake button. It doesn't actually come up or anything like that, which is interesting. But these honestly fit me perfectly. I got these in a small. And I feel like comfy shorts is a must. You're gonna be like on a scooter, cleaning elephants, going for walks, hikes, the beach, stuff like that. So denim just does not appeal to me at all. So I got these to comfortably just put over anything and I got them in black so that they will go with everything. And again, I just remembered, I'm forgetting something else. I bought, which I think they're in our closet because we just moved, I bought water shoes specifically for Bali because I read that when you are like cleaning the elephants and feeding them and stuff it's very muddy and you don't want to like cut your foot the last thing I want to do is ruin our vacation so we both did get a pair of water shoes for that and then next I got these two tank tops this is the white one this is the black one again these will just probably go with anything any pair of shorts and hopefully I can just keep re-wearing them and they won't get like dirty because I want to pack the least amount of stuff as possible so if these go with anything then we will be set and ready to go and then last two things i got this sweater which might sound dumb but i read that it's not really worth it to wear or like bring a sweatshirt to bali because of how hot it is and then it's humid at night so it didn't make sense to bring sweats and i didn't want them to take up space in my luggage between the two places so i figured maybe if i could just wear a sweater on the plane because it's cold and then at night if i get chilly i can like wrap it around my arms without taking up space with like a huge matching sweat either way i think it'll be good to have if i pack it or not at least i can just stop thinking about it i'll have to try it on with some things to make sure it goes with the vibe but i'm glad i picked it up either way just in case my last thing that keeps falling everywhere is of course, my elopement dress. I showed this in another video. This is from Sabo Skirt. And I feel like this is the perfect, perfect, perfect dress to wear to Bali for an elopement, you guys. It's a bit of an off-white color, which I think will be perfect because Tyler's wearing linen. He's not wearing a crisp white either. So I feel like this will match him absolutely perfectly. And with the open back, it just seems very Bali. And I just think that it's so cute. And I'm so excited to wear this. So yeah, I think that is everything, you guys. That's everything that I bought specifically for our trip for Bali slash Singapore. We're going there too. And I'm sure you guys will be glad that this content will be over soon. But if you guys think that I'm missing anything, make sure you leave it down in the comments below because I've read a lot of blogs and tried to pick and pull from what people are saying to bring, but I definitely don't want to forget anything. So just let me know. And if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to see more from me. And until next time, bye guys.